Hello, welcome back. Last time I launched Rocket 2 and made some headway toward number 3. Hey, I got a percentage point this time. <laughs> I actually did enough for that. Uh, there should be a lit line here, but it looks like that probably doesn't save when I quit the game. So let's redo this just to see how far I've gotten. Learning things about how this game manages state and which parts are written to disk. That line is not. What was that, like three screens away, four screens away, four-ish four -ish screens away, one, two, three, four, somewhere around here. Now I went too far. Three screens away. Alright, so here I need a splice. What are you? 312. Too long. Here is slicer. Um, number of insights is one, so therefore this should be safe to look at. Uh, before I even look at the insight, let me look at the puzzle itself. Eat two things to get longer to get out of here. Or to get out of here, to, uh, to be long enough to do this. Did I know about slicing in this world? I think so. Those slicers look extremely accessible. Mm, reasonably accessible. Anyway, insights. So this setup says, well, don't I just, no, I can't put my tail out this way. Okay, what's this suggesting? If that went in the hole, right, just eat the one without, uh, eat the inner one without the, the outer one. It's a suggestion here. Okay. Maybe I didn't know about slicing at this point. That might have been the next world where I started learning. But yeah, clearly there are some usable slicers here. Right, so this was supposed to go in the water as a... How would this get out of the way? I guess this would roll... This way and change shape, being a little bit more compatible with making it in there. Uh, amusingly, I have to do a little shuffle here to make that not kill me. Oh, that's a slice. A slice I'm clearly supposed to do, probably. Or at least it could be part of my solution. So yeah, here's how to solve the puzzle, just the normal way, right? Yes. Okay. So here's how to solve the puzzle the normal way. What I need to do additionally is have a too long splicer, which should be f not quite trivial. Okay. So let's say I did do what I had just done there. Then afterward, I try to push you out here. Um, push you out here. Get around to you, which I can do. Slice like... Then you fall. Of course you do. It'd be better if my mouth were around you. Don't think I have a way to do that. Now if I... Oh, I don't want that. If I... Uh, okay. So yeah, with those walls, that's the only way I can make that slice. Rolling like this, I can't have had it one more to the west. I note there's a vertical slicer up here. I'm wondering about its possible reasons for being... Okay, what's the issue? The issue is that I have something too long to splice here. I need to shorten this by one. 
and also get it back to this placeable position, which I think I could do, right? So let's pretend that's the appropriate length. Do I, do I have any more issues than I think I do? Like, I could just go here, um, and push you over there, and yeah, no, that's no problem. So yeah, if one shorter, that would slice. But from here I can't push south, and even if I did, it would fall. What about from there? Yeah, isn't that better? Hold on, doesn't that just kind of work? From here I push north, right? Assuming I can get that back, which... Um, is easy. That's not even a thing. Okay, there we go. Cool, so splice has been made. Let's launch that rocket again. See how far it gets this time. I should have traveled to the room to the north because that would put me on this end of the room. Oh no, my fast travel isn't fast enough. <laughs> it doesn't have to be in the game, you know. It's a convenience provided to me that is technically optional. There we go, through the splice. Then you go there, and go there, and keep going, and keep going. And now we're in three rockets. Okay. So that was the amount of splices I need to, to make. Look at this puzzle. So gigantic and closing ring around everything. For shifting left and right. Oh. One insight, by the way. Um... This looks like a, one of those, um, what they call it, those sliding tile puzzle things. Okay, don't want that. Uh, Huarong Dao, etc. You know, one of those. Mm. Yeah, the point is just that everything is in everything else's way here. However, this looks pretty resolvable. Okay, that's going to have to roll over, which it can mostly just do, right? Ah, but it needs to use one of the two longs on its way up there as its backstop. Ooh. Therefore, I probably wanted to put that up the other side. And here we go, this is a mechanic I was talking about that could have been used and now it suddenly is. Uh, where the filled in hole actually has puzzle significance. Okay, so I need some assistance for pushing that up there, which I can just get with this because I only need the one more thingy here, right? I think all of this is correct. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, done. Easy rocket puzzle, no problem. I should have stopped to look at the insight before I went here. Well, I guess we're doing that long roll again to take a look at it. What would the insight for a puzzle like this be? Right, candy cane worm gets sent to space. That's right, I see, because this is the winter world. <laughs> peppermint flavor. Not all candy canes are peppermint flavor, but the, you know, the standard one is. Explore your new environment. You're going to be a leg. One of four. Someday to be one of eight. How fast do I move now? Probably a little faster than three. I am here. There we go. Not much. About the same. Yeah, no can flinging power. Okay, change can. So, next rocket. Um, notes have nothing on rocket number four. Yes, they do. Rocket four is a complicated one. It was the last in the list because it has the most uh, changes between worlds. 
So Rocket 4, according to the TV I looked at once, goes to 3 and then to 5. So first of all, 4 is the desert world, right? Whoa. Okay, I'm here. Uh, let's see, quickest way to do this is like that. Alright, so this is world 4, right? It appears to be. Your rocket has not been touched! It's all the way over there. And I'm gonna need some help to get there. Okay. That's interesting. Hold on, um... No, I can't touch it with my tail. Could I maybe... Wait, 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 hold on. So you can push to the right. Is three the number that I want? Yeah, so if you go straight down, you can't... You'll have to go right by one. Unless I do one less... So I think I need to involve another worm here. Unless I can do this better somehow, let's see. Involve another worm. Idea. Don't involve another worm, just route differently. Hmm. If I had one more move, that would work. Because one of the TVs told me you can touch a rocket with your tail to collect it. And that sure does look like what I want to do there. I just need one more move than I have. So, could I have had one more move than I had? That's no good. If I do it like this... That's how far I get, and I'm off by one. There isn't really another way to straighten. Okay. Mm So you have three spare moves. Could I imagine a way? Yes, I could. Uh, but I disconnect. If I weren't disconnected, I could switch over there, go north, east, east, and things would be good. But I'm disconnected. Okay, could I have... No. Uh, what if... So this sounds weird, but what if that? I think that actually does get me another move, doesn't it? Because it burns two of those, but it lets me use two more of these. Gaining sufficient efficiency, right? Uh... Just like that. Because, yeah, I think that is an overall g Ah! My tail! <laughs> okay. That is a problem. Yeah, no, if the tail segment goes over there, then that's no good. Hmm. Good idea doesn't work. I can't go far enough up to fix that problem and still get here. Because I'm out of moves. Almost. 
Let's do that again. Hold on. So. Uh, yeah. So any amount of overlapping that, unless I get it all the way back out, would result in going into it. And I'm off by one. This is all of these that I can have. Therefore, I would instead be there, having gained not enough. Because now I only get this far, which is less distance than I had before. Okay. So that's not it. Do I need to involve more worms? Or is it still just these two and I'm just not doing the right thing? Okay, I don't think this ever is any good for anything. Because it puts the tail of the one that needs to connect here much too far away from the other. And boy, the puzzle to actually put these all in the hole sure is going to be something once I get to it. Hmm. I think I lose too much by doing that, don't I? Maybe I don't lose as much as I thought. Wait, why did this happen? Did I do something wrong? No? Okay, yeah, so it's that flat surface. So regardless, like there's a segment right there where that head is right now that will pass over the portal, whatever I do. Okay, so let's try and involve another worm. I'll get you all the space I can get you from here. Although actually, I would prefer... Ah! All the wrong buttons. Always. <laughs> Can't do anything here without that happening at least several times. Okay. So I wanted just a little bit of boost here. I want a lot of boost here, and then to connect. But I get just a little bit of boost. But then I can connect. Yeah, this should do the job. That's all I actually need. So here, I think. Then you connect. Yeah, okay, that's enough. Great. Okay. Okay, now, after that, the recommended connection order was four to three to five. Five is Candyland, right? Right? Yes. Uh, okay. So four, three, and five all need to be hooked together. All right, well, let's start the way I did with that before. Actually, yeah, let's just... Ah! But, <laughs> ah! <laughs> let's just undo to where that was. I can't. I reset. Okay, that's fine. I can get how many? Is it two? It is two. Okay, four, three, and five all need to hook up. I guess I should evaluate... So five is the ultimate destination. Can I get there from here? I can. Uh, let's look around here and see... Let me see if I can figure out where this thing is going. So it's coming in one of these two ports. Is it this one? If in here... Nothing is available unless... Things are flexed differently, maybe? So if they were flexed differently... Let's just straighten completely. So fully straight. 
doorway is here. No, there's no flexing that operates between these two locations. So I am not coming in this door, okay? So that possibility is eliminated. Therefore, I'm coming in this one, which also doesn't work. Neither one goes anywhere. Hold on, is there a rotation that affects this? So let's do the opposite bend as what you had. I pressed the right button. So that would be this, I think. Or something like... Wait, hang on, you have three ports. I've only looked at two. So this one here, right, of course, you had an inner one that was inaccessible. So I need to make the inaccessible one accessible. That's why that port's important. You go in here and continue this way. And I need to be a different angle. Okay, so I'm there, the, the just behind the head section. So the next section probably wants an angle more similar to that. So you'll continue down here, this way, hit this, yes, and then you're in there. Four to three to five. So this is the destination, right here is the rocket puzzle. Uh, there are a lot of splices here. But hold on, didn't I already do all the splicing activities in this? But yeah, okay, so entering this worm's brain right here has never been done by me. That is the rocket puzzle. I'm going to be doing what now? Now, I have spliced my way through there for non-rocket purposes. Like, that was just how puzzles in Candyland were accessed in general. And yeah, I, I don't think I've ever gone in there? I don't really have a way to check, though, but I, I think that's rocket-only stuff. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. Okay, so this is the end point. Prior to that, you need to come in on lane one from south. Uh, let's phrase that differently. Two from head. Two away from head. So this would be zero, this would be one, this would be two. Two away from head. The bottom most one would be three. Okay, so two away from head. Port nearest head. Port nearest head, two away from head. I'm coming from world three, which is... Ah! Which is this one. And which port am I exiting? Is it the one that is currently connected? That would line up, in theory. Okay. Um, I'm just going to guess that that's connected here. S yes, it must be. I can surmise that that one connects here. Okay. And this, this was the one that I entered when I did the puzzle, because uh, otherwise the lines are unroutable. Okay, so then I enter from one from head. Okay, one from head in door closest to head. Two from head in door closest to head, one from head in door closest to head. And I need to connect you up to the desert world. Where the rocket... Right, I haven't actually looked at this thing yet. I just unlocked it. Just goes straight out of uh, there. Okay, so... The only port. One from head not in the port closest to head. The port second closest to head. Wait, hold on. But you're exiting from where? You go out here, you come in... Which direction was I tracing? You come in here, you go out there. So you you need to flip vertically relative to how you are now. 
Oh boy, this is a lot. Okay, that's... I... Okay. Am I clear on what I'm doing? Cactus comes in the port that is... My current position, south one, west side. It exits out of that to Candyland, the port that is currently blocked. So, like, um, the connection be- Yeah, of course I don't have the moves for that sort of thing. Connection between you two is ultimately going to- oh. Okay, fine. Let's do this. Ultimately going to look like that. So that connection is the correct connection, I think. Let's see what the rocket does. Is this what I expect? Maybe those two are interchangeable? Maybe I don't have to go upside down, because the direction doesn't matter. Hold on, um... Does this look like the same thing if I turn myself around? From here it does. From here does it. Same lane? That was a different lane, wasn't it? Was that? Hang on, so that was... Okay, since I am rolling north to south, let's count that way. That was second from... Okay, now I'm mixing my ordinals and whatever. <laughs> Counting is complicated. One away from the north. Second from north. So, one more time. I thought I knew what I had seen here, but apparently I did not know. Yeah, okay, second from north. Same one. Okay, so, therefore I don't need to flip you vertically. That's a redundant step that is unnecessary. Now, okay, so I need to make... Okay, I can more or less see what the shape's gonna be. Okay, that used my move budget exactly, which is encouraging. However, I think it's wrong. It's almost definitely wrong. That is still wrong. Uh, don't be so sure. Oh, wrong alignment. Wrong alignment. Hold on, so you're the end point. You don't go between these two. You are at the end of those two. Okay, so I'm hooking those up. I think that's the one. I think that's the one. Okay, I think that is the correct way to connect, right? Let's just fling it and see what happens. I might need splices, but I think at least my routing is correct. Yeah, there we go. Four rocket. Okay. This looks tiny. I'm gonna dare to try it right now. How many insights are there? Oh, I didn't look at the other insight in the place. Well, too bad, I guess. There's one insight. This looks tiny and trivial, right? Yeah, I think so. I just get bigger. Oh, look at that. Push that out of the way. Okay, I get bigger differently somehow. Then I phrase myself... Wait, hold on. Uh, wait, why can't I? Okay, I need to break a fence at some point, of course. 
Um. Hmm. That's not the... Oh, okay, so that one wall is what my tail needs to be against. So I do want that, I think. Uh, no. How would my tail be against that wall? Don't I want the opposite? So therefore I want to eat this first. But then that's all the way down there, and my tail can't be against that wall. Okay, not so simple after all. So, okay. Given... No, I should be able to get my, my thing against a thing here, right? If I approach like that... What if I first push you? Then I approach like this. That'll break that fence, which isn't exactly what I want. But I did break a fence, at least. It's a start. It gives me a little more space to wriggle. However, I can't do the rest of what I need to do. I think. Yeah, it sure doesn't look like it to me. Okay, so... I wish to approach one of these two foods from the west while my tail straightens into that wall. Doesn't that require me to be longer than it's possible for me to be? Oh wait, no, I had it. I had it. I had it. I had it. Can I undo past my reset and get back to... No. Okay, so what did I do? I think I pushed this without eating. I do want to break this fence. Because I can just go around. There's enough room. I just didn't register that until now. Yeah, that's fine. Don't need it. There we go. Right, not breaking the fence that's directly between me and the thing. Whoops, I didn't look at the inside again. All right, well, we're not seeing those insights, I guess. That's okay. We saw the insights via the puzzles themselves. All right. Cool. So that's two more rockets done today. Great. It's kind of just the, the first one and one of the puzzles on the way to the second so far that's been the, the real stoppers for me. I mean, routing these worms was not nothing, but it was very doable. Right on the battery. Got a whole collection of rockets here. And they're in a funny order. But that's fine, they can land in whatever order they want. Five legs. Five legs. Five legs. I don't think there are any intermediate gradations of movement ability between three and seven. Like seven will be the same as three, right? Then eight will suddenly have full control, probably. Probably. All right, I'll see you next time to work on world... One, two, three, four. Was that world four's rocket? Yes, that's what I was doing. Okay, Candyland rocket, coming next. I'll see you then.